Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2019 with the Rude Man. We're back on Simon Family Farms. And we've got some seeding to do. I don't recall if there's anything else that needs to be done right at the moment. But let me just double check. Let's see. I think everything's been prepared. Except for the seeds. Yeah, I think everything's done. So uh, I was uh, left off, when I left off, I was feeding pigs. And um, if you remember, the conveyor belt was off a little bit. So I'm gonna take this tractor here, this John Deere that needs a good washing. And I'm going to hook up to that thing and make sure that it's set up correctly. When I hooked that old tractor up it up to it to run the, the uh, three-point hitch, I uh, I must have moved this part of it right here. And I need to hook up to it and back it up a little bit. Okay, let's... Make sure it's right over. Okay. Uh... That should work, I guess. Oh, who's in the truck? Somebody's in the truck. Okay, well, if you remember, I tried to put pig food in here, and I'm not sure... But I don't think it took all that it could take. So let's try to put some more in. See how that works for us. All right, it's putting it in. So let's go in and check that pigs and um, okay all right it's putting it in there but we need some more water productivity zero percent really what are they missing hmm All right. Maybe it'll take, maybe it'll only take so much at a time. Okay, mixed mixed ration. That's the cows. There's the pigs. Okay, so let's let me look at this here. This is um, fifteen point one one two, and let's see if it'll take some more. Is it going in? says it's going in but that just that doesn't look like it's lined up correctly does it this isn't easy well it it did put some in it did okay well we'll leave it at that this is empty now 
So they've got food. We'll leave it at that for now. See if I got some silage to sell. And then go back and get the John Deere. Bring it home. Try to go right through that tree. We're gonna have to give this thing a wash job. It's dirty. Get hooked up to the cedar. I don't know what we're gonna plant. Uh, I do have sunflower seeds. Did I just do sunflower seeds? Let's run out here and fill this thing up, though. Now, uh, the fertilizer I've got. So let's run over and get fertilizer before I forget. Two on the end first. Those, those little pallets don't hold very much, do they? Couple thousand. Right, it's full. So, let's see, where should we start? Let's start, we'll start down at the bottom of the, of the map and work our way up, I guess. We're in a circle. And I think I'll do a, a, a canola. I forgot. Top off the seeds. Might be a good idea.
Interesting. I guess you have to open the, the back up. I didn't uh, do it and it wouldn't take it as soon as I opened it up. It did. So there you go. I kind of like that though. Pretty realistic. <laughs> you can't fill it up if the lid's on it. Okay, so let's just start down at the bottom here. Then we'll come up into the field that I'm in. We'll just do a big circle, if you will. All right, let's uh, drop that down. Start it up. We're on canola. Let's see what happens here. Again, I have to work around the trees. Yeah. Why in the hell people would put trees that close to their field? Well, I can understand why the trees were there, but uh, they would be gone by the time I put the fields in. I wouldn't take all the trees down. Trees are nice. But I probably would take the ones that are interfering with the field back a little bit. For one thing, they're sucking resources from your crops. You know, they're sucking the water, they're putting the crops in the shade, so they're stealing the sunshine. All that kind of stuff. Okay, turn that off. Let's, uh, let's see if we can... Okay, seed green, green plains, that's the one we need. And let's just do a set it straight. Turn it on. Turn it on. I should put my John Deere's in here. It's got a lot wider span and would help out now that I've got so many fields purchased. And I don't know if I did. I should check. Let's stop this for a minute. Did I put the John Deere's in? They are under planters. I did. I did. I didn't buy one though, did I? No, I haven't purchased one. Let's get one of the John Deere's. And um, we're gonna do US flags, obviously. And we'll put on the uh, heavy duty tires and wheels. Purchase that. 
Okay. And then, uh, again, I don't have... I'm going to need another tractor, I think. Wheel set up, wheel weights, wide tires, wide tires and weights, twin wheels. Yeah, let's go with that. And then uh, let's do global positioning and a bigger engine. I'll put the chip in. All right, this is going to help with efficiency because there are some fields that are kind of squarish and that I can hire one of the guys to work or gals and then I can run the other one manually so it's gonna be more efficient and a lot quicker on the road to put some beacons on. Is there a beacon on the back of this? No, there's not, but there are flags. There are flags. The beacon thing, now there's, I guess, with the new uh, Farm Sim 22, it comes with a beacon that you can put onto your desk and plug it into a USB port. And when you turn the beacons on, in the game it will turn the beacon on on your desk and flash your eyeballs out so now I actually thought about that and the problem is I can't figure out where to buy one I don't think you can yet I don't think it's available to even purchase yet that special edition and I don't know what it's gonna cost because the game itself is gonna they're charging a fortune for the game this time yeah, uh, game's like 60 bucks or something. Oh, 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 look out. Look out. So I don't know. I I, it, I think it's kind of silly in a way. I don't even like all the colored stuff in my computer. You know, the LEDs and the flashing lights and all that kind of stuff. I don't get into that. Uh, some people do. I know Scorpion just loves the hell out of it, but... It's just distracting to me. My computer is a piece of equipment that I use. It, it's not a display to me. Now, does my computer not have LED? Yeah, it does. Uh, only because the um, the stuff that I bought to put in it, you know, I wanted a water cooler and all that kind of stuff, and it had came with the bright lights and all that kind of crap doodle do. So, yes, my computer does have you know, LED fans and stuff like that in it. But it's not a big deal to me. For one thing, it takes computer power to, to run them. I want all the power I can get to play my games. But so, you know, the point being, do I need... <laughs> do I need a flashing uh, light on my desk, you know, that's represents a beacon in the game. I don't even use the beacons in the game much, much, very much. I, I think they're kind of silly. They'd be perfectly fine if you... Um, let's see. Liquid fertilizer is on the end. We have liquid fertilizer for this. So I got to put liquid in this. Uh, be perfectly fine. But if you were out on the road where you might run into traffic. But I've seen some people playing the game and they're all excited because they turn their beacons on when they're on the field. Well, why would you need your beacons on in the field? There's no traffic in the field. If if anything hits the tractor, it's because you ran into it. So the beacon wouldn't have done you any good. Uh-oh, I just ran out of money. 
I didn't have enough money to fill this up. Because I bought the new equipment, I'll bet. But I do have stuff I can sell. So, let's sell this. And get a little bit more money. Okay, this is where the rags to rich and cut, cut riches comes in. Because I'm playing on hard mode. I don't... I don't get the yields that I would normally get, and I don't get the price for sure that I would normally get on crops. So it's a little bit harder for me to make money. I gotta have some kind of supplement, and that's where the silage comes in. Come on, give me some liquid fertilizer. What's going on? Huh. Okay, I got more money. What's going on? not able to get close enough I think it's the front tanks that's the fertilizer there it goes let's find the trigger I guess okay let's see what we can do with this rig Now you can see why I like the John Deere. Look how wide it is. It's so dang wide you can't even see it all in the screen. It's the widest uh, cedar I've been able to find in the game. That is a normal cedar and not some crazy extension of craziness. All right, set this thing on canola. Whoops, I missed it. Canola, let's do a, a headland here. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm stuck on the tree. I'm stuck on Band-Aid. Sorry. Tree. I just scarred the, I scarred that tree for life. It's going to work, but let's try it. We're going to give this thing. Let's see if Rose will do it. Okay, let's get back to the other one, get back to work.
clue what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> Just driving around. The only thing I can hope for is that it all ends up well. So. All right, I know I've got a problem with those telephone poles. Let's. See if we can fix that, and then I've got to watch that other cedar because it's so big that it's gonna make one or two passes and be done. And I know, I think it was Dar made a comment on this map that if this was her map, she'd be plowing all these fields together to hell with the terracing. <laughs> well, it's not terracing. Uh, the, um, oh God, I can never remember what they call it. With these uh, fields having all this green space in between them. go check on the deer oh the deer oh the deer 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 where is he oh he's in a wrong field um okay uh well what do we do let's um well, i know what happened because this field uh only has like a foot of green between it it doesn't know whether it started a new field or not. I, I guess, I guess. Let's, uh, let's drop this down and come across here. We're making patchwork out of this. This seating job is going to be ridiculous. Oh, well. Like I said, all, you know, if it all ends up well, that's all we care about. Okay, back to the Great Plains. And, and, and I've got this thing set at an angle. I don't know why. 
It just is, and I haven't fixed it, and so I'm just going to leave it. That's what we're doing with the nitrogen. Target has been reached with that. So let's... Uh here well we've got a little patch right here I guess now, it shouldn't put anything on if it doesn't need it so it should be okay Trying to finish my morning tea here in between. Okay, I really didn't leave myself enough of a turnaround here, so let's do another one of these across here as if I haven't screwed it up enough Yeah, Dar said she'd take a plow and plow all these things together. Can't blame her. But I know what the guy that created the map is trying to do. I've seen this kind of farming before where they actually where they actually had problems with losing topsoil. And so they had to do something to conserve the topsoil. But in actuality, I don't think that the land was all that flat that has to have this happen. I think it's hilly land that they have to do this to contour farming is that what they call it
Now it should be all set to just go up and down, up and down till it's done. When you are inside this tractor, it just seems like you're flying. But when you go out, you're actually, you know, not going that fast. Actually, it was going pretty fast, but the perception is still there that you're going faster than you are. whether you're going the right speed or not. Let's see. Now that's odd because it says that the pH is fine and the nitrogen is zero when in reality I think it's not. Oh, goodness gracious. What happened here? Wow. Rose is just taking over and just going with it. Okay, let's uh, let's stop her, or she stopped herself. And run up here and try to see if we got cleanup to do, which we do. corners up here. Okay. And it looks like that end of the field is good. And that end of the field maybe is good. So let's run up to this other field. And put her back to work. Let's mosey over here. Whoa, Rose. Back her up, girl. Let's see if she'll do it. She doesn't want to do it. Nope, she don't want to do it. Don't know why. All right, hold on to that thought. finish this out and then we'll go help Rose a little bit. She just might need a little nudge. Sometimes they won't don't want to start for whatever reason and then once you get started they'll take over. So we'll work on that.
Wow, we're using so little seed. I don't understand that. We're going through fertilizer like nobody's business, but we're not using any seed. Why are we not using any seed? Well, we are, because it just changed from 95 to 94, but we're using seed, but gosh, almost nil. I don't understand that. I'm going to have to check this mod and see if there's something screwy on it. I didn't notice that before. Maybe it's just canola. got a um, farm that I'm playing where I'm playing seasons and and uh, and this um, mod that I'm playing here I'm sorry my mind just went completely bank blank uh, what's the name of this thing precision farming yeah uh, I started a new farm that I'm playing both seasons and precision farming on and I should have done that on this one because I think this farm would have been a better farm to do seasons and precision farming on. The farm that I am doing it on, I didn't notice until after I got into a couple episodes that the precision farming isn't set up very good on it. The fields all seem to be just one soil type and that's it. So there's no point in even having precision farming on. All right, let's uh, check this out. I think we're already caught up here. Let's mosey over here. And do this. See how much slower it seems I'm going? And how fast it seems like when you're sitting inside the, tr the tractor. It just seems like you're just speeding. Well, when we're done with this, we should have uh, perfect nitrogen and perfect pH. So we should get the best yield that we can get off the type of uh, soil that we have here. Which is the problem with that other one. The other one, the, there only seems to be one soil type. And it's the worst soil type you can get. So I just don't, I don't know.
Now I could change the seasons on this one. The problem is that if you you have to do a little bit to it if you're starting a, a, a current save game rather than starting a brand new game from the get go. You have to, oh, what is it? You have to prepare the fields different. I mean, you have to, when, when you start, it'll say, uh-oh, you've got a, a, you know, you're starting a, in the middle of a game save. Uh, to do that, you need to reset everything. And so uh, now what they mean by reset doesn't mean you have to, you know, reset equipment, reset everything. That, that's not what they mean. I think it's just the field preparation that you have to change. So I could try it, maybe. Maybe I will. Because I've been playing that other one. And I've been recording it. But I'm not happy because of that. You know, I wanted to I'm, I wanted to use the precision farming and the seasons together. But I want it to work properly. And if there's only one soil type on the whole map. And this is a big map then that's not going to be the thing to do. i uh, think about it. I might come in next time and you might see seasons. Let's put it that way. Flip a coin. We'll find out. For now, I'm done for today. I hope you had fun and I hope to join you that you join me in the next episode. Ta-ta for now.